Okay, it is time for some more math. Once you log in, you're gonna go into your Snowflake and you're gonna find your homework assignments that are assigned to you today. Uh, we are gonna start with Algebra Activity 1.1. So when we go in here, we're explaining what algebra is. And basically, algebra is finding out what we are missing. Okay, so it says write and simplify an addition expression when you see these words. How many all together? So what we need to remember is this word right here, all together, means that we are adding. So write the expression, fill in the empty spaces with the known number. Right now, we don't know what A is. So we're going to use our marker tool, and we're going to just write in the word A. Excuse me, the letter A. We also don't know what B is. So right now, it says A plus B. We don't know what these are, so we can decide what we want them to be. So we can decide that A is 3. This is probably a lot easier on your iPads than my computer. And then I'm going to decide that B is 1. So now our expression is actually 3 plus 1. So instead of a plus b, it's going to be 3 plus 1. So a plus b is 4. Please do not be overwhelmed. This seems really crazy, but then the next page helps us break it down a little bit easier with numbers that are already there. Okay, so your page might look like this. Um, it might have a space for you to type these in, and it might also have a space for you to put this plus sign. If you need to add the plus sign, if there's a square here and that there's nothing here, you push the shift and then um, the plus and equal sign. So if you push the shift at the same time, then it's going to give you that plus sign right there. Okay, so Mary Beth and Danielle are volunteering at the safety fair. Mary Beth has, hands out seven pencils, and it shows us right here that Mary Beth is going to be A, okay? Danielle is going to be B in our equation. Danielle hands out B pencils. So what we notice right here is that we don't know what B is yet. So we're going to write this expression or write our number sentence. A, we can reference up here, A is seven. So I'm going to type in the number seven. And then plus, again, if you need to type that plus in, um, depending on the level that you're at, um, some people need to add the plus and some people it's already here. So I don't have to on mine. B, do we know what the number is yet? It says Danielle hands out B pencils. So we don't know what that number is. So what you're going to type in this one is B, which seems really strange when we're um, doing math because usually all of our math is numbers. So in algebra, some of your numbers are going to be letters um, and we will work on this together. So Danielle hands out five pencils. We now know what the value of B is. How many pencils do they hand out all together? Again, this all together is telling us that we are adding. Here's my plus sign. A hasn't changed. So we're gonna add, we're gonna move it from here down. So our A is still seven. That has not changed. Mary Beth hands out seven pencils. We wrote it here and here. So B, we didn't know what B was up here. It says Danielle hands out B pencils. So we have no idea what that number is. Now we know Danielle hands out five pencils. So now we're gonna fill this B in with five. The last thing we need to do is add these together. Seven plus five. So we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're going to type in 12. Okay, Mary Beth and Danielle are now handing out name tags at their safety fair. So Mary Beth hands out A name tags. Do we have a number yet? No. So we're going to put a down here because we don't know it. We have no idea what that first number is yet. B, Danielle hands out eight name tags. So now this time we know what B is. B is now eight. Again, if you need to push, put this plus sign in, push shift and then the plus and equal sign. Uh, it's right next to the delete button and you can push, make that plus sign up here. Mary Beth hands out six name tags. So before we didn't know what Mary Beth was doing and now we know that she has six. So we're typing in six. 
B, we already know. We're going to reference up here. B is 8. We already knew. Danielle handed out 8 name tags. 8 goes here. And then we're going to add them together. 6 plus 8. If you want, you can use your marker tool over here to help you figure that out. We already have... Oops, how come my marker? Oh, my marker only draws on here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Whoopsies. And this one we're going to make seven. Looks like Morse code. Eight. There we go. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So since I have a writing tool right here, I'm going to type in 14. Notice when I added, I started with eight because eight is a larger number. So I started with eight and then added on. When you're finished with this, you can click on your globe. It may tell you that you are not done. Um, if it does that, here's an example. If I try to click done. There's more to do. It reminds me that there's more to do. That means I have something that is empty. Keep so I'm gonna, working. I'm going to decide to keep working. I'm like, oops, I forgot. I'm going to type in 14. Now my lesson is complete, and now I can go back to the home page. Okay, so you can go ahead and complete activity 1.1. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Again, you can just reference this video and it kind of goes through everything. The numbers, everything should be the same. And then we'll move on to algebra activity 1.2, which is subtracting. We're going to use the same strategies, but algebra is also in subtracting. It's not just adding. So we're going to do that next.